Hello everyone, this is Nihawk here, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, I, like I said, I was going to try and do some more training and grinding off camera, and then I needed to heal my Pokemon, and so I did the fast travel back to Professor Laventon, and then that acquired a cutscene. So I'm like, oh crap, well now I actually have to try and, you know, wait and then go off camera and then do some stuff. But I did get some, get to a point where some Pokemon can evolve, and I do want to continue the story, so let's just, might as well just continue it. Episode 4 just went up today, and I'll probably record this episode for tomorrow. So, you're a real wonder. A s I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning, the, light, the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you just go on rescuing them without even a, a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history of here in Hisu turning it into Sinnoh. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Okay? So, obviously, I gotta talk to uh, Professor Laventon. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, I actually caught a Rhyhorn off-camera that was an Alpha, and it was level 45. <laughs> so, holy crap. What's this? You quell, you quell, Lady, li, uh, Lady Lilligan? Smashing! Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be w wanting to re wanting a report. Okay. But I love this game so much, and I really want to keep playing it. But I keep on forgetting like certain things require because like it's not just the part where you can just go off randomly. There's always story or something to encounter. So because this is like completely different from any of the past Pokemon games. Found her by the scent of my mochi, did ya? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill and handiwork, you can recognize from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat lunch or get eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner late later. But first, don't you oh come out of a report? Your meal can wait. Okay, well before we do that, um one I need to put some stuff away. And two evolve some Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Weasel can now evolve into a span, uh, not a fantastic. I was gonna say splendid and fantastic. Uh, a fantastic-looking Floatzel. Nice, and Luxio into Luxray. I and today we're going to try and see if we can get. Uh, Quilava into a Typhlosion. Hopefully. There he is. Luxray. Okay. Man, Fultz is almost as big. Actually, Fultz is as big as me. Okay. And Luxray. Oh, that Luxray is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Well, I'm gonna bring on everyone. Why not? There you go. <clears throat> now, see, I will say that's kind of cool. They actually kind of interact with each other a little bit. That's cool. Even though they can't follow you around, they kind of interact with each other a little bit. I think that's pretty cool. Wait, what happens if I just... Oh, Luxray's tired. What if I just do this? Will they all just come back up? Yep. There they go. Okay. Okay, it's pretty cool. But yeah, if you look at the symbol for the Galac for the Galaxy team, it looks like a mixture of Team Galactic and some other weird, weird ones. So, you successfully calmed the Ligant. Yes, I did, sir. Excellent. There may be, there may well be times when the Team Galactic or Team Galaxy wrong, wrong timeline. <laughs> team when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. Ah, oh, my throat. 
stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are introduced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? You may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives and beyond impugning. Are you still questioning me? Okay. <clears throat> There you go! Piping hot mochi! Or potato mochi! Fresh from the stove! He's shaking. Why are you shaking? Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings with er, from our Pokemon research and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree that I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is really getting getting us anywhere? It with our research or with carving out, out our life a life here? Oh, sort of. Ah, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, Ian. It's for an item that should help scatter those gloomy thoughts. Scatter bangs? One pod pod and one caster fern leaf. Come now, don't worry yourself so much, girl. <laughs> Sorry about that. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete the Pokedex for ourselves someday. <laughs> the next day. Yep, gotta do your morning stretching. Morning, sleepyhead! Oh, you're back. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Oh, okay. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still gonna be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll, I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Yeah, I was good. Yeah, I, the game can auto-save and you can save it manually, so... Certain parts can be saved at random times, so that's kind of why I started at the beginning of this episode right there, because I didn't actually start there, because if it did, I would have left off right at the end of the last episode, which is where L Lilligan was. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers whenever you can, Ian. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. M Mr. Comando. Commando. Come on, though. Sir, er, so about the whole Ursula situation. If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from, you welcome Arizum. And you, Ian, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. Prelude Beach. Isn't that where we started our journey? Honestly, yeah, I was actually gonna head back here anyway, just to, just to take a look around and see if I can find if anything else spawned it over here. These people have just arrived in Hisu. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived on this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisu region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard that the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, we have both heard correct you both heard correctly, and the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Ian here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisu region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Okay. Now what? The advancement of our, outstand of our understanding of the po of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. 
That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Ian, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? <laughs> but just said not really, like, eh. I mean, they've attacked me a couple times. Been poisoned, had to go to the hospital. Medical bills went up. Ugh, it's getting too real now. Hmm. Pokemon have done have done grave injury to many of our fellows of the Galaxy team, and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the Survey Corps. Well, what did you want me to say? Not really. I mean, you're the one who's having me go out, risking my life to go and research these Pokemon. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. Oh, so I could have just said not really at all. And be warned, as the leader of, Gal of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Well, judging from what he just said, something might happen later on in the game. Don't know what, but something will. Commander, even of the Pearl Clan's arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Ian... You should see for yourself about uh, see yourself. Pfft, ah, you ugh, cannot speak today. You should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Okay. I commanded. I commanded you on your successful research. No, I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson uh, Meyerlands. Your next. Orders are to begin the survey of the of the, the Goldback Coastlands. No, the, the, that wasn't the. It's not Goldback. It's Col, Col, Cobalt Coastlands, not Goldback. It's God, my brain. I will let you know in advance. There are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Cobalt uh, Coastlands. Okay, allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Very sad. Now, we've had reports of, poke of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island of, of... Wait. Strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Firespit Island. There are serious concerns and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate th these dis dis uh, this of our late Lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate those reports, or these reports. The Lordless Land. Okay. I'll meet you in the in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It is a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropping or to be dropping into. I'm sorry, Ian. Ah, it's fine. It's more story, more time for me to play. Think nothing of it. Ian is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he, he will sort things out. Indeed, Ian quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello, Silene. The next area the next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is a, it is a further a, a field than the Crimson Mirrorlands. Much further. And the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be able to brave the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission? Investigate Fire Pit Island. Okay. But before we do that, I am going to have to farm up on some apricorns. So, I shall be right back. I don't know how long this is going to take when it comes to gathering a bunch of apricorns. But, um, oh, what now? Ah, if it isn't Ian. Oh. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village where you're going to... 
Where are you going to study Pokemon next? I mean, technically I'm going to Fire Pit Island, but isn't that also a part of the Cobalt Coastlands? Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Pauline is certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious powers. With the right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleaver for proof for that. What? What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon in this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisu will be very important. There's even a table of stone that contain, yeah, of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. Okay, so I think Almighty Sinnoh is known as Arceus. I just don't think they call him that yet. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. I hope I to help grind ah. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Grip pebbles. Okay. Sacks of grit gravel. And should you want some stones that can help a Pokemon evolve, I believe that, that the Ginkgo guides have them from time to time. <clears throat> So they're basically like the, the Pokemon merch sellers. Okay, so now we're going all the way over here. Holy crap. Okay. So, I did say I was going to gather some Apricorns and stuff. Um, there, uh, I would say that there might be some here, but I'm not sure. You know what? I think we should be okay. Maybe. Maybe, but we'll just, we'll just have to go and see if there's any actual Pokemon um, stuff over here. Or Apricorns over here. Because if there are, then perfect. God, every time like, we go somewhere, my character's just... What? Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I think this was one of the places that they mentioned in the trailer where you could find Piplup or something. I, I think, anyway, I'm not sure. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simple, lovely corner of Hisu, sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types? Perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all! Yee! <laughs> now I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've got a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? Uh, about Fire Pit Island. Why not? Hmm, indeed. Oh, it's Fire... Fire Spit, Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called... A fellow called... Aizen? Aizen? Aizen, I think it's Aizen. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. I just wonder if this is where he gives me, like, the basculine thing or something. Watch out! Hello. Oh, maybe we get that from her. Is the Basculine Evolution gonna like just jump out of the water like Free Willy? Because normally, whenever a person uses that flute, something appears that we can ride. Well, sort of. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tune carries me to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Oh, okay. I'm game. Yeah, why not? Very good. You who, you who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. 
Well, yeah, I've seen Beyond the Rift, but it was just a bluish void. Ooh, there's an Eevee! Ah, oh, so close to one-shotting it. So close! Oh! I do like that you can, like, run around and stuff. Okay, that should take care of Glaceon, because... Yep, there we go. Glaceon's down. Okay. Oh, I really want to catch this Eevee, though! But I can't access my Pokeballs. Ooh, agility style. Quick attack. Okay. Oh, God! Okay, fine. Strong style! One more time! Here we go. That should do it. You know what? I wonder if by the end, uh, Irida will have all the evolutions or something. Because apparently Sylveon's in the game too, which I didn't know that. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Oh well. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm recording this on the exact same day as the last one because I'm wearing the exact same clothes. <laughs> Alright. With you, I think you... you wait. Wait. All right, with you, I think with you, I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. Oh, it's becoming philosophical now, isn't it? You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Pauli Pauli Pau Paulina? Or Pauline, or, I think. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Palina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a, a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true here hire to his father, the late Lord. Okay. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's hire would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by uh, quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Okay, new area, new eventual types of Pokemon to get. I'm seeing Glam Meow. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Let's do some exploring. Yeah? Ugh. Let's just see what's over here. Obviously, you're gonna get some stuff. Gotta try and get as many berries and stuff as possible. Don't know why, just because. Oh, hello. You startled me. Oh. 19 more wisps cover the land. Ugh, trudge up there. Okay, fine. Here we go. Woo! 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 Oh! 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 <laughs> there we go. Hit! There we go! Catching you too. Just lost a bunch of Pokeballs. 
and I can't frickin' aim. Wow, this place looks cool. Whoa! What the? Oh, Purgly! Came out of nowhere! It didn't even give me an alert! It just, she just came at me! She, I hate Purgly. Always hated Purgly. She came out of nowhere! Well, hello. Level 44? Dear God. Woo! Okay. But yeah, that purgly just came out of nowhere. It didn't even give me any warning or anything. I see a, I see a house. Okay. Oh crap! Damn it! I wanted to try and catch you guys. That's not an option. Well, I mean it probably is, but I just actually have to do something properly. But whatever. Ooh, I see a pom down there that are completely out of the normal. Man, that wall rain is pissed. Okay, there we go. That should do it. Oh my good god. Oh! Ugh. Never mind then. Great. That's yeah, fine. I see another one over here. Okay. Okay, a palm. Nice. Get that real quick. A lot of combi over here. What saw me? Was it the Buizel? It was the Buizel. Oh god, he used Swift! And don't worry, I'm trying to get away. Although... It could be, it, it might be actually a little bit stronger, so. Oh, it's not that bad. Well, it's still pretty bad. Okay. I do like this whole strong style and um, agile style thing. Oh. Excuse me. Have you seen a fellow, have you seen a fellow from a construction corpse named y Yurichi? Yurich? No, I haven't. God, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have when you have seen him a moment. Sure, okay. Oh. I'll come back to this spot later. Uh, I should probably actually do what I was supposed to do. Myself a feel. Okay, the drift one's not after me anymore. Okay. Come here, feel. Okay. Crap. A little bit higher. No! Oh, why'd you move? Nice! Thank you for coming closer. Nice. 
I saw a Murkrow over here too, I think. Oh, there's a Drapion. And a Scorpy. Quacha! Nice. Not many feels I can get. Crap. Well, I'm not gonna be able to get any like that. What? I had him! Okay, let him roll away. Man, judging from the looks of it, this place goes on for miles. Got over here. You didn't see me. Oh, there's a gigantic machoke! <clears throat> ah! Oh! Do you see? Do you see the alpha chat over here? <laughs> there was a machoke over there. <laughs> Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, just... There we go. That should do it. Nice. Yeah, he got the alpha chat over there. Don't get spotted, don't get spotted. We're spotted. Ooh, there's a Remoraid. Oh, you! What? I had that! Oh, my good God! Fine. Holy Jesus. Beauty fly. I'm not messing around. I know for a fact that that memory does not see me. Although I did see him a chop over here. Okay. Is it still there? No. I think it's gone. Okay. Just pick up that. I see another one out there. Oh, damn. Ah! There we go. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. We're finally going to get to see what the new evolution of Quilava is. Here we go. Holy crap! Learn a new move. It's a fire and ghost type. That I was not expecting. Oh, and we can, oh my god, and we can choose which moves it wants to, wants to have. That, okay, that is cool. I like that. Did I actually do it? No, I, got, I think I gotta confirm it first. Let's 
So he just changed moves. So is Ember still there? Oh my god, that, oh my, that is just incredible. You seem kind of shy. I want to see what your flames look like. That's cool. I also f kind of forgot where I have to go. <laughs> I was I was so f fed up with all the other stuff, or got caught up in all the other stuff. I I totally forgot. My mind just blanked. Um. Hang on, let me check and see. Head to Veilstone Cap, Cap to speak with Palatina of the, Pearl, of the Pearl Clan. So I think she said... No, oh, don't do that! <laughs> oh, God. That Machoke over there seems to be excited about something. Hatcher for the item. Is it a mud ball? Yeah, ball of mud. Okay. Okay. Don't turn around. Ah! There we go. If not, run. Never mind. We got it. But yeah, like I said, not entirely sure where I gotta go. So... Ooh, actually, this would be a perfect chance to get into a battle. Okay, let's see. Oh! That looks dope! I like that. Flamethrower animation looks so much cooler, too. You want to go, too? Okay, yeah, we'll take you on. Oh, my God, the Typhlosion just looks so cool. I wasn't expecting it to be Fire and Ghost. I thought it was honestly going to be, like, Fire and Ground or something. Not... Oh, and... Oh, people just pawn. I keep on trying to take me on. Okay, two more evolutions. Nice. Everything's good. Now we got ourselves a Star Raptor. That's just so cool. There we go. What the? Oh my god, because of all the spilled apricorns? Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Hello! Hi, Star Raptor. There we go. Okay, we got a decent team building up here. But yeah, I, I kind of already forgot where she said that we had to go. I know that she said we had to go down, and then, oh wait, then we had to go up on, onto like a, a ledge or something that should tell us where we have to go. And I see the ledge that she's talking about. So we gotta go this way. Luckily, with our new ride Pokemon, we can just get up right up to the top. Ooh, but I do need you guys. Back. Nice. I also keep on forgetting. I can just look at the thing that tells me I have to go to. Also, what did it tell me that I didn't have enough spare room for? Fine. 
Yeah, I keep on forgetting I can just look where I have to go. Crap, more apricorn trees, thank you. Nope, 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 nope. Avoid everyone. <gasps> oh, Vulpix. Oh, God. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh, crap. There's an alpha purgly. Almost there. Ah, here we go. The Growlithe. Arr. Hush now. Settle down. Oh god, what's the th oh, is that like a scuba gear thing? I was like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> I'm Paulina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when you, when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength might be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. Well, thank you. So what brings you to Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quarrel. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescued... The, he was rescuing the, his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure this pup's safe return. Aw, that's sad. If you were to guess, which of these Growlithe would you say is a previous Lord's child? Uh, I'd probably say the big one because they're older, but I'd probably go with the small one. So is, is it a trick question? Oh, you have quite the... Qu I just broke my tongue. He's quite skittish. Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. Ow. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. As did the Lion King with, you know, Long live the king. <laughs> there are those who accept me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the no matter what the rest of the Pro Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I make for fire spy, fire spit island. I hope higher. Ah, did Irida ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose? Oh, was I supposed? I'm assuming I was supposed to put the Fire Spit Island. Okay. A survey of Fire Spit Island. I see there are rumors the place is haunted, but by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Baskalon. I think that's how you say it, Baskalagon, if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Ison, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is diff there is definitely something strange happening on Fire Spit Island. The shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in con conflict over which side... Uh, revered the true almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached the uneasy peace, the true almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship the false image of it. Ah, uh, but I, I digress. I do apologize. Okay. Aizen lives on Apom Hill, just past King, uh, Kinko Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. I was just over there. Oh my, I was just over there! Okay. Oh my god, you can see the mountain perfectly from here. Well, not perfectly, some of it's glitched out, but... 
At least you can see it. Oh no, not the furry week. Ah! Oh dear, heaven and almighty above. <laughs> okay, I take it I'm almost dead. <laughs> Run, 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 little one. No one has spotted me. Oh, crap, you might have. <laughs> Do I have to go up to this house? Yeah, I gotta go over to this house over here. Uh, yeah, I was just over here. I like how I'm like, pissing off every single Pokemon that I run by. <laughs> Is it supposed to be this house? Oh! Why, hello there, Mr. Ian. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm, the, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, my young friend? Eh, so-and-so, I guess. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you call frenzy nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as a worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of, an, of the ancient hero, the one that's said to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. I hope so. Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please don't over overexert yourself. I'd hate for someone to ha something to happen to one of my guide's loyal customers. You don't care about me. You care about my money. You never loved me. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. So, um... I'm Aizen of the Diamond Clan. A galaxy team member with a Celestia flute. Oh, you must be Ian, right? H have I done something to warrant your visit? No. Well, s well, well. Sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll forget. You'll give me advice. Adv oh no, advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? To visit F Fire Spit Island. So, no. So you you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Well, if you insist, then you'd probably need Baskelagon's favorite snack. That should help him. Uh, that should help him warm up to you. But preparing his vi his favorite, oh, it's um, more than a little difficult, M more likely impossible, possibly high hurdle, or really just impossible if I'm being honest. How so? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... But then you, well, you see, this next part is something I could never manage. But you need to catch this Pokemon that appears at night. Which Pokemon? Y you really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's d d Dusknor? Dusclops! Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. So the materials for the food have to be embedded with, the f with flavor by Dusclops' dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Baskelagon's favorite food, you see. What? Wow, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's possibly frightening how um, fearless you are. D d uh, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Hunt. Ah, uh, Deadwood Hunt is the area that looks like a hand on the map, on your, hand on your map. 
You'll know there. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. So do I have to go there at night to get this Pokemon? I I try every. I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, and so now I know a lot about them. You see. Would would you like to wait here until night when the Pokemon appears? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll wait. Well then. Is it at least healing my Pokemon? Because if it isn't, then... Oh, my Pokemon are not healed! Ugh! No, I wanted to catch it. Oh my god, of course you have to be a pain in my ass. Because why would you not be? Okay. I think once we actually catch the Dusclops, we'll probably just end off the video for- Oh my god! Okay, we'll, we'll use a Great Ball this time. The first Great Ball of the actual series that we're using. I mean, we just got them a little while ago. There we go. So we gotta catch ourselves a Dusclops. It's probably over by the sunken ships that he was talking about. There we go. Yeah, if I had to take a guess, there'd probably be one over by the sunken ship. No. There we go. Was it Dusclops or Dust? I think it was, yeah, it was Dusclops. I'm pretty sure that was a Dust Skull. Oh, do nope. By the way, uh, Driftwood is at 10, right? Yeah. Ah, damn. Okay, that wasn't the plan! <sighs> it just used Hex. I'm a ghost type. Oh my god, you two? Level you. Thirty-eight. Just 
Don't kill it, because we need to catch this one. I don't understand how Hex is a... It's a Ghost-type move, right? Or is it a Poison-type move? I'm not sure. I... I don't know. But yeah, I think this is the Pokemon we have to catch. Dusclops. There we go. Now I'm assuming I have to report back to our little friend over there that we... And just run, why not? We got a treasure chest over here. What is this? It's just a box. Oh! Well, that's just lovely! Mushroom cake, smoke bomb. another one over here. Swim! Swim! Okay, there we go. One great ball. I wasn't expecting a, a Chansey there. I wonder. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! That hit him! <sighs> What's that one thing I can craft? Doesn't matter, I don't have anything to make it. There we go. Oh, dear heavens! Oh, level 51! Nope! Nope, 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 nope. yeah, I wanna run. Good heavens and all of that is glorious. Never mind. I thought I would have been able to catch it. I caught a Rhyhorn that was an alpha. Not a chance to just sit in there now. She's like, come on. What you gonna do, big boy? <laughs> come and get me. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'ma just... I'ma just go. <gasps> Ooh, a Chetot! No, don't run away. Don't. Aww.
Nice. Ooh, a Togepi. Yay! Did you bring, you know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like a dust bops? I got him. You really brought it? No, don't bring it out! Right. I guess, I guess I have to do my part seeing how I'm determined you are to go to that island with Basklagon, Basklagon. Usually I, I, um, I ask Paulina, Paulina, if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit, but this time you need to help since, well, since you're making this, this s uh, snack that you'll be accepting by Basklagon. Once I give the signal, you have the dust bops of your of yours use its dark pulse. Why should it actually have to specifically have dark pulse? So we had to make sure we had to catch is it the specific one to actually have dark pulse. Three, two. Oh no, it's too frightening. Could you get a grip? Right. So counting down to it just makes anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go! A delicious aroma wefts through the air. Basquagon's favorite snack is now ready. Okay. A ball of Basquagon food. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basquagon food. And let us make for Ginkgo Lake Landing. We can summon Basilagon there. Okay. And we gotta go to Basilagon Landing. Oh crap! Oh no! Okay. Oh, I don't want... I don't want to die before I get there. Ah, oh, fine. Wait, that's right here. Hi, Ambipom! Hey, Pom! I got you mixed up there for a second. Hey, come here. Hi. <laughs> I guess I didn't get him. Oh, hi, Walrain. Oh, God. Oh, God, Walrain. Walrains are terrifying if you didn't know. Oh, hello, Ian. I, I was just waiting for you. God, he sounds so nervous every single time I talk to him. I mean, Jesus. Hello, Aizen. Or Aizen? 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 I don't know. Oh, Palena. I, I thought you said y y we wouldn't... No, we shouldn't be... Been seen together. I'm sure Ian can keep a secret. Are they together? Are they an item? Are they one and the same? Besides, both I and the Gralith pups were eager to meet with the great Basquagon again. I'm just not realizing it's nighttime outside. <laughs> I see. Well, in that case, well, let me summon Basquagon. Here we go. Go on, Ian. You can you can give the food to Basilgon now. So this is this is supposed to be like the evolution of uh, Basculin, as you can already tell. Oh, the great Basilgon. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basilgon would accept this favor. Oh, so, uh, Ian, you should let Basilgon hear your playing. Will do. Okay, fine. Basilgon open its heart and learn its sound of playing. Is it gonna give me the water plate? Yep, the, the splash plate.
Now you can ride Basco Gun across Tranquility Cove and head to Firespit Island. Wow. My congratulations to you, Ian. Rawr. Paulina, do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before how the previous lord res rescued this Gralith Puff. During that incident, Aizen and Baskogon saved my life as well. Oh, since then I felt a great deal of affection for Aizen here. I truly adore him. But I know that there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Aizen where there are no praying eyes to perceive his reputation. Well, I was doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after, the, after that day, I found the strength to accept Greleth as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Aizen. Ah, perhaps we, sh perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. Okay! Ah, crap. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who chases our path. I'm the eldest and the unlucky charm. God, this is like Team Rocket. I know, they're gonna just say the same thing over and over again. Okay. Hand over that Growlithe. Oh wait, is this how we get a Growlithe? Are we gonna battle with one of these and she's gonna give us one of them? You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester with us with the bad jokes, those ridiculous in introductions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Oh! I wonder if she's the ancestor to Agatha or something. From the Elite Four of the Kanto region. Thanks, to the, thanks for the Growlithe fools. We three can't live, this, live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the Great Land of Hisu, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for ya. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place of mis so miserably hot. Also, when it comes to Pokemon that need to trade evolve, I'm wondering if, due to certain weather conditions and spawning, maybe you won't have to trade to get them. They'll just spawn automatically. W what? No, Growlithe! Well, I guess I know what we have to do now. What should we do, Ian? This is an emergency, right? But, uh, you see, I've never, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Ian, I beg you, help us. Please, Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. <laughs> that Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Kobo coastlands that seems suitable is, a fire, is Fire Spirit Island. Oh, now that you have Baskagon to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Please, could you find a way to help Palina? Of course. Just heal my Pokemon. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. We will make our way to Firespell Island as well. <laughs> I like the way he's like, he looked over and just like, yeah. <laughs> no, Polina, you should wait here and keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come on, come Ian, no time to think. We must go now. You would always ask that Baskagon can jump from water surfaces and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items into Baskin, from Baskin's back too. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit, I'm still a little scared. Do you think you could head over first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baskin across the water. 
Okay, so press the plus button or A button when you're in the water a sum, to summon Basketgon across the water on the back while riding Basketgon. You'll still be able to throw items, but it's more when Basketgon jumps into the air, you'll have more just... Okay. Okay, but before I do that, um, I need to go heal my Pokemon. So I will be right back. Luckily, all I have to do is go back up to where the campsite is and then go from there. Just gotta rest. Gotta rest for a little while. And you know what? While I'm here, I might as well just talk to Professor Lavender and... 32 Pokemon! There we go. Holy crap. That's a lot less feel than I thought I caught. Anyway. 14,000 bucks! Woo! Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff this time. That should that should that actually might get me to No. Okay. Continue my excursion, because I'm not done yet. Okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty sure it's a water and dark type. So why do we have to go over here? This music sounds kind of familiar. Actually, yeah, the music sounded very familiar there. I wonder if what they did was just like... Yeah, the music sounds very familiar. It sounds like some of the music from the obviously Pokemon Diamond and Pearl games, but... Ah, okay. Jeez. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon. Are you kidding me? ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! <laughs> Hello? What you doing over there? Oh, come on, Shellos! There we go. Oh, what? That's BS! Just leave, get on out of there. Hopefully a Shellos will appear again. Which it, which it does. Okay. Yes! Cut my, I caught, oh crap. I caught one of my favorite Pokemon of the entire Sinnoh region. My little blue Shellos. I might even add him to the team too. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's BS! Okay, fine, fine, fine. Whatever! Oh, well, here we are. Fire Spit Island.
Okay. We have Fire Spit Island. It's certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? And now you've now we've got a ghost and bandits to deal with on top of the heat. I'm very sorry, but do you think you could lead the way in? Yeah, yeah. That poor Growlithe, I don't dare imagine that those bandits are doing to him right now. Make some more Pokeballs. Yep, there we go. Oh. Oh, hello. Maybe? Nope. And there he goes. You didn't see squat! Oh, you dick. I definitely want to catch you. Come on. Quick ball it is then. I gotta stop relying on just the Pokeballs. I keep on forgetting I have other ones too. Do I have anything in my bag that might be able to cure poison by any chance? Or do I need Petcha Berries? I don't think I have any Petcha Berries. Which I don't have. Oh wait, I don't, don't think he's still poisoned anymore. I saw another Magmar over there. Maybe we could try and see if we can catch it. No, you don't see me. You don't see me. Oh! Ah! Where'd you come from? Hey! No, no, no! Ah, crap. Oh, God, uh, he ran away. Oh, my God, it's a it's a sacrificial. It's a, oh, this is not good. God, this is just horrible. Looks like a sacrificial ritual. Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework. Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to its lava ta trap is supposed to evolve. So get on with it already. You will become stronger, like it or not. Rawr. Oh look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters. I'll take care of him. Go, a bomb of snow. Smash this fool into pieces. Yep. It's weird how each one of them, each one, each one of them has a Pokemon of their uh, future, like, because these are the ancestors of the characters from like other Pokemon games. So it's interesting that you know, oh, not Floatzel. No, I. Swap up for Typhlosion. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Strong style flame wheel. There we go. Battle decided.
I th yeah, I think just Beauty Flash just become a part of the team, because if I were to take him off now, there'd be no point. <laughs> you know, Bomba Snow can't fight at full power in crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. We were basically going, to, going easy on you. In fact, how dare you make poor Bomba Snow battle in such a stupidity place? You're the one who sent on a bomb of snow, sister. Go on, then, Toxic Croak. Pour out some poison for our welcome guest. For no, for our un unwelcome guest. Okay. Agile style! Flame wheel! Oh crap. Great. Flamethrower! Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, there goes Typhlosion. Perfect. Staraptor, let's go! Strong style, air slash. There you go. Battle decided. Eh. Oh, the explosion is knocked out again. Guess I lost the coin toss sometimes. Did warn you, didn't I, that I had a score to settle with the with the Galaxy team. All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here but from the Kanto region to work? Exactly. So she's the ancestor of Agatha, which I think is supposed to be the, like I said, the ancestor to the member of the Elite Four for the Kanto region. Unless, by some random chance, this is actually her, which would be a complete plot twist. Going to make you pay for every last, every last slight. Nah, but well, if her, well, if her name would have been Agatha, if that's the case, but I highly doubt it. Oh, great. Use Mud Bomb. Agile style. No, Mud Slap, not Mud Bomb, Mud Slap. It came obscure. One more time. Agile style, Mud Slap. Hurt by the Jagged Splinters. Up avoid the attack. One more time. Agile style mud slap. It's splinters. Oh crap. Stealth rock. There we go. Now this time, strong style. There we go. Dark Pulse, oh, oh, hello. Okay, looks right, let's go. Strong style, bite! Nice. What a disgrace. Okay. How, how could all of us have been Hey, Charm, I healed up a bomb of snow and t coins Toxicroak. Good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. Ow. 
What? Hey, no one invited Tiny. You're really going to insist on getting in the way, you little runt? Arr. Take him down, Toxicroak. I know it's hot, but hang in there, Obama Snow. Smash that runt. Growlithe, please stop. You can't beat such the foes. Polina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Growlithe. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. Into the ocean? He was terrified of the ocean after it swallowed up his former lord. His own father! Oh, great. I have no idea what's about to happen. Holy crap! Whoa! Looks like he finally found his courage. The late Lord's child, he's evolved. He's, he's true bravery laid not in crossing the sea, but finding his strength to face head on. You gotta be joking me. Why'd that puny one evolve? Uh, sisters, something's not right. Oh, what the world? Uh-oh! It's the lightning. It almost looks like Solgaleo. Uh, this can't be good. What? Polina, stay back! Oh my god! What's happened to him? A strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzied. Just like the other nobles. Oh, th this is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. Ugh, everything was going just as, as just as we'd wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything. Enough of the sisters. We leave this place. We won't be making any living without, without our lives. So the girl on the left is just constantly just... Mm. Hey, wait. This is all your fault. Get out of here too, Polina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Arcanine. Come on, Ian, we should hurry. I don't think that... Oh, wait. Are we actually just abandoning him? What the... Lena. <coughs> I'm stuck in my throat. What are you going to do about Growlithe? I mean, Arcanine. That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it is my duty to protect him. With everything I have. Ian, what must we do to quell his frenzy? Please tell us what we need. That is a good question. We'll need to make some blams. Bombs? Irida, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. It is it is it too is it so surprising that I know a little more of these things than you, Lena? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist, stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware our leader, Irida. How could I forget that you were the one who ch was chosen? You, who can use the, Celestica, the Celestica, Celestica Flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the farthest reaches of Vast Hisu. I've learned a little about fr the frenzies as well. These are special methods of dealing with them. We can make bombs, pouches, containing a mix of Lord's favorite foods, and then throw them at a safe distance. Isn't that right, Ian? Yes, it is, because I've done that twice already. Well, uh, in that case, I do always carry some of Growlithe's favorite food with me, so I can thank him for thank him when he uses his flames to help prepare Basilgon's favorite food. My right, Eisen, once again, you're thoughtless and save the day. Now we can make these blams right away. Yes, let's get right to work. Okay. Again, if you could heal my Pokemon too, that'd be just fine by me. They're ready. Here are the blams we need. Please, let me know when you are when you feel prepared to try on... Oh, it's Frenzy. 
Okay, um... How long have I been recording for? About two hours and eight minutes. Um... Okay, I don't even think I have enough stuff to make the revives. I do not. Damn. No, oh crap. No, I don't know. Are you ready, Ian? Uh, n no, I'm not. Well, actually, Arcanine is a fire type. It's a fire and rock type. I still don't want to take the ch- I mean, well, both my fire and rock type Pokemon are knocked out, so I might have a shot. Yeah, why not? Give it a shot. Ian, please do you do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it is clear his frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard, the late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while your dodging moves will slip right by you. Good luck. Yeah, because I'm definitely going to need it. As he walks across the lava. Lord of the Isles. I'm just not realizing that there's lava around me. Oops. Oh, dear God. Ow, what the? Oh! Why are they not hitting him? Why are they not hitting him? Oh, my Pokemon are full heal! Okay, perfect! Okay, what level is it? 36! That's actually not that bad! Okay, strong style, water pulse! Oh, holy crap! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> What the? Why did you get to go twice? That is BS. There we go. Hacha, 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 ha! Hacha, hacha! Oh, what the? Oh, God! Ow! Why did it? Oh, God, I'm stuck. I can't go there. I can't go there. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah! I can't jump across the lava. My good lord! Oh, my 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 foot my ankle feels weird. Oh crap! Wait, raging fury! What the? What is that? What? What? Thunderfang! Wow, that's a great, nice. You can't move. Okay, Agile style! Nice. Ah! 
Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Oh! <laughs> almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. We've done it again. God, Arcanine looks so cool. Oh look, the strange light has left Arcanine and it's vanishing into space-time rift. Oh, is this a... You have received the flame plate. Nice. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? Err. What is he making that sound? What? Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? The father never died! He faked his death! Ooh. Oh, now I understand. My little Growlithe. Oh, no, I must. I misspoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live apart, so that we, so that we may attend to our separate duties. Arr. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong, far stronger than me, in fact. From now on, let, let us each let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Go on, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. God, it's 713? Jesus. Please tell me you're just gonna give me that Arc that other growl. <laughs> um was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of a previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. Please, I, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as, as it is. What am I supposed to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to worry, Aizen. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous Lord calling out to us. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. And you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one in the uh, new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Irida as well. Okay. Now then, Aizen, I believe we'd best be off. Okay. Ian. I wasn't much used just watching from the side, was I? You know, when L Lena w wouldn't raise Gallup to be the new lord and people in our clan were doubting her f fitness as a warden, I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. It is a warden's duty to force a ch- is it- no. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through, through that training? Those words left me with so much consideration. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. That's not true. Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs. Something you could have done without me. Is that so uh, praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contr contribution? I took on leadership of the Pro Clan so young with no grand vision of what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sites, as even as some call me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I, n I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land of Hisu. Grant me another battle someday, Ian. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to help you and to uh, broaden the horizons of the world I see. I can't wait to look back at the footage of this and just watch the background of my, you know, my room just go from light to dark. <laughs> Looks like I've got Lena to thank f for yet another lesson that I've learned. I should let her know and he hear more about her relationship with Ward and Eisen while I'm at it. 
Here's where we part for now, Ian. I I need to get off of this oven off this island. Yeah, I... Okay, that is going to be it for today's episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'll probably be uploading this tomorrow on Friday. Maybe, if I find the time to edit this whole freaking video. So, with that being said, if you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Remember to give this video a like. Remember to share this video with your friends and family, and I hope you guys have an amazing day.